everybody, it's Kay, and I'm here today with my Ipsy Glam Bag for March of 20 plus for tw March of 23, and this is the first of two. The reason I get two is that um, I don't like to miss out on the reg the Glam Bag Plus or whatever you want to call it, the boxy uh, one now. When you get the um, the X box or, or icon box. I, I, I just don't like to miss out. So I have uh, two plus subscriptions right now. So this is one of them. I have uh, the other one that I'll be looking at a little bit later today. So on um, this one, okay, so they chose two items for me. And uh, the first item that they chose for me is this uh, mineral sunscreen by First Aid Beauty. Um, I don't really need this yet, but in the summertime, I'll need this. I'll be glad to have it. And First Aid Beauty is a very good product. This would be $28. So that's a good one. Um, the next item, and I have tried these out. Um, these were chosen for me, the Beauty for Real brushes. Um, they're basically different um, different types of, of, of eyeshadow brushes. And I think it's actually a, a pretty diverse set, and I they're well they look to be well made. I've actually used um, some of these already, so there's different ones to choose from. There's a, a shading brush, a little bitty one. It just seems very nice. Um, then this one is a liner brush, okay, and then this one has. A, and it's an angle brush and it's also a spooler brush and then this one is just a blender brush you can see that I have used that one it's very very nice um I actually I like these I probably wouldn't have chosen them um, but I like them a lot and I noticed I was a little too greeny looking. I'm actually for St. Patrick's Day. I have something in the um, ice cream box. I sort of put on some green stuff today. <laughs> it's a little bit green. So this other one is the contour brush. So this is a really nice set. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this set. This would be, and I'm going to actually, I keep these in their little bags like this. So uh, that's a nice little bag. It's, it looks like it's going to hold up. That would be forty-two dollars. Okay, so let's move on to the things that I chose. So in the first, you get to choose three items. In the first category, um, I could have chosen a, a retinol and rainbow algae repair serum by Hiram. I didn't know what that was. I really didn't need really another serum. On the Maui eyeshadow palette, that I actually have one of those, so uh, I didn't choose that with this bag. The Mellow Cosmetics lip gloss, I didn't really want to want that lip gloss. The I really did think about the True Lu True and Luscious Lucky Glow palette because of something else I chose. I didn't choose that, and there was actually several. Of, of like highlighter or cheek palettes to choose from here in this this uh, this particular bag. And then a refreshment body wash in coconut colada. And those are okay. I got one, uh, some citrus one last month in the uh, BoxyCharm, I think it was the premium. I've just about used it up. It's okay. I wouldn't go out and buy it though because um, I usually use the Bath and Body Works and I think these are actually, and I can get those on sale. So that's why I probably would not, unless it was a really good price, would I get the refreshments one again. So anyway, let's see what I chose. Okay. I chose. I forgot to show the bag. Here's the bag here, and it's really pretty. And this is the last one of these. And it's got a, uh, looks like a Grecian woman on here, a Roman woman. So I'm gonna miss those. Maybe they'll have them here and there. This is not something that's gonna be continued when they go to the boxy, the boxy charm box. And honestly, if they'll send that stuff in a box, like the boxy charm boxes versus these mailers, that'd be great. I sure hope they do that if we're gonna call it a box. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay. So this is the, I chose the Dr. Laura Devgan, I think it's Devgan Mascara. This is a $40 mascara and I thought, okay, well, 
Let's see what it does. Um, it says, this is sort of small. Let's see what it says. Um, it's intensely back black carbon-based formula for luscious multidimensional dramatic eyelashes. And it's supposed to lengthen. Um, it's supposed to be an extreme le lengthening mascara. I have this on today and I did try this yesterday and it comes in this uh, silver container. I don't know whether that's plastic or what. It's sort of lightweight. Um, it's probably a plastic container. It actually has a brush that is not it's bendable, okay? And it's a curve brush. So um, it doesn't have much of a smell. It's a little bit of a chemical smell. So I will tell you that um, I do think that it it worked out okay as far as lengthening. You do, you are supposed to put on more than one coat. Um, I did, I put on two coats and, you know, I do think they're about as long as, as I want them to be. Um, and I will tell you when I took this off yesterday, this must be a tubing mascara because when in the sink, it looked like my eyelashes had fallen out in the sink. So that's what a tubing mascara looks like and when, when it comes off. So that, it doesn't say that in the description, but that is what this is. And it was not easy to get off. It required um, a little bit of a balm. This is not one that's just gonna come off. It doesn't say that it's waterproof, but this is not gonna come off with just water. So this, you know, I was thinking for a $40 mascara, this was gonna be different than, you know, the average mascara is about 20, you know, between 22 and 28 or $29. And this was way more. So, so far, I think this is, I think I'll definitely use this up. Um, and I've never heard of this brand, so I was happy to have it. Okay, so that was a, a choice item. So the next choice items I had in uh, the second category was an RMS lip to cheek. And there was other cheeks. There's a lot of cheek stuff in here, so I didn't choose that. Or there's a lot of like other cheek things later, like with add-ons or whatever, that I really was more excited about. Um, the Bobbi Brown Shadow Stick in Vanilla. I did not choose that here because there was something else in this category I really wanted. The Aria um, Beauty scrunchies. I didn't need any more scrunchies. The Rowan brow pencil. I didn't need that either. And Lashaholic lashes. And, and I don't wear false eyelashes. And I have actually, just because they come in sets, I, I have some that if I ever decided I wanted to wear them, I, I have plenty. So anyway, what I chose, and I really, really like this a lot. And I have this on today. And I will tell you that this looks darker on the camera right now than this actually is. Um, this is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by Ofra, and I really like this. Um, this this Long Lasting Lip, um, I think this is a good shade actually too. This is a pretty this is this is a pretty good. That's more like what the shade is. When you see it right there, that's more like what it is. It stays on pretty well. I'm not going to say that it stays on when you eat because nothing really does but it stays on better than most. And this is what the color is. And so that is a color that's one of my favorite colors in a lipstick and a, or lip gloss. And it's not a lip gloss. This is more of a lip, um, just a lip lipstick. It really is. So th there's, it dries down pretty well. There's just a teeny bit of transfer still, but overall this is, this is pretty good. And I just happen to have also a little bit of um, um, Too Faced lip gloss on as well, because um, it, it's not that it dries too much, it's just I wanted some lip gloss. So I'm really happy to have this. I really wanted this and I like it a lot. This is a $20 product. Okay, so then the next category didn't have as much of you know things that I would have liked to have chosen. Um, the choices were an Honest Beauty lip crayon and I already had a lipstick coming. Um, the Trey Loose lip gloss, uh, which is plumping. It was said it was a plumping thing. Oh, there goes the dog. Okay. Um, and then a Lucky Chick lip treatment and let's see, a Farrah 18 hour eyeliner. 
and I give them Lala Do You Boo Boo setting spray. I don't really use setting sprays and I actually have some already. Um, I do have a fair number of the, the lip treatments, so I didn't really want another one of those. So the last thing uh, was the V Cosmetic Lash Curler, and I think that's a $20 value. It's not here. Um, I actually, in this bag, of the Ipsy didn't do a very good job. Um, when we get to here in the add-ons, there was a, a number of things that didn't come. I did contact them yesterday. The system is down today. Um, but thank you. So I'm glad that I contacted them yesterday and all of the things that you're going to hear that did not come in here that I paid for with add-ons, they said they had it all. So, and they're sending it to me and they apologized and put 600 points over my account. So I didn't have a lash curler. I have other V cosmetic, that's V cosmetic, um, products. And I thought, well, I would like to have a lash curler. So hopefully one will be on its way to me. So as far as add-ons are concerned, I did get a couple of add-ons and then I'm gonna talk about the ones I didn't get. Um, I got this little Kinship Vitamin C Eye Brightening Cream because I have other Kinship products and you see that it's actually, it comes to here. It's just a little sample size. This was $3.50. It's got a little bit of color on it. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. And there it is, that's what it looks like. Doesn't have a smell. So I knew it was gonna be small and that's okay. It gives me a chance to try it. So the other things, um, okay, I've got, oh, oh, I forgot one thing. I've got this. I paid for the Boost, and this was $15 that I paid, and this Too Faced palette is a $54, it's called Better Than Chocolate. I don't have this on today, I did wear it yesterday, and I like it. It comes in a tin, and it has all these different colors, and I there's just so much you can do with it, and Too Faced has a, a nice eyeshadow, and it has a little bit of a, you see the, a little bit of the, the frame on there. Um, this is very nice and I'm very glad to have it. Um, oh, actually, what did I, I use yesterday? I actually used the purple one and then this one here. And I think a little bit of this one as a highlight. There's just so many looks that you can do with this one. I really do like this blue. You see how that, that blue one, um, the brown eyes, that really makes your eyes pop. Um, I, I like this gold, the gold ones. I like all of these, these are nice. Um, I'm not gonna swatch them. There's really too many here to swatch, but they are very, very nice. And so this was a boost that I like. I like the last month boost too. So anyway, there's that. Really happy to have it. Um, so what else did I get in here? I got this Nanette Lepore Everlasting. Um, and I like the other fragrances I've gotten from Nanette Lepore, and I like these little ones that come like this. It's nice, it's just, you know, it's like a lot of others. It's nothing special, but it's just, it's just a nice fragrance. It says it has rose essence and white jasmine. Mid notes are gonna be, that was his top notes. Mid notes are um, bee blossom and honey and wild, uh, white orchid. Base notes are sandalwood, dark musk, and amber. It's nice. All of them that one, the poor ones are. I had not seen this one before, the Everlasting. So I think this was a $12 add-on and this is a $20 value you tried to purchase it. So anyway, I like it. And I, I do smell, okay. I think it's the jasmine I smell. I don't smell rose very much. Okay, so what I did, oh, I got one last one and I really, really love this. And I do have this on today. This is the Pat McGrath, and this was gonna be an add-on, and we all knew this was gonna be an add-on. This wasn't gonna be a choice for anyone. This was an $18 add-on. This is a $62 palette. It is the, um, and it comes in an outer box too, it looks like that. It is a Divine Blush Glow Cheek, Plush Glow Cheek Palette. I do have this on today. Um, it's a nice palette. Okay, this is what it looks like. And I actually have on this one today. 
So I think, you know, you could just, you can do a lot with it. I, I do actually have a little bit of this on as well. Um, that's why, you know, there's a little bit of shininess here. I think I may put a little bit because I've actually been out since I put this on a couple of hours ago. Okay, so I really like it. I'm gonna enjoy this. It's really nice if you can see the imprint in there. This just seems to be very, very nice. And I got a, a Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow in my, um, I think it was in the the, uh, the last Lux box by BoxyCharm. And I was happy to have it. So I'm happy to have this as well and it's got a mirror to it. So that's really nice. Okay, well, let's talk about what didn't come. And this was disappointing. And again, they say they're going to send it. Um, I had the Bobbi Brown Vanilla Longwear Eyeshadow. You saw that as a choice in here, but I chose other things. So I thought I could get the add-on and then I didn't get it, but hopefully it's coming. The Wander Beauty Eye and Face Island um, Hop Palette. Well, there was two to choose from. One was Sun Kissed and one was Hop. So this Hop Palette did not, Island Hop Palette did not come. Um, the KVD, and these were all $12 add-ons. The KVD Good Apple Concealer did not come. And the Saturday Skin um, Yuzu, I think that's oh, Yuzu, Y-U-Z-A Vita C uh, Sleep Mask. So those didn't come. I don't know what happened. They had actually improved for the past two months and then, then they fell down this past month. So just the five items, the two that they chose and the three that I ch chose, if I had actually gotten all of them, which I think I will get that eyelash curler, it's a $150 bag and uh, value. So that's okay. And you know, overall, I was a little irritated to see four add-ons missing. But um, they're coming. They tell me they're coming. And if they don't, they will they will refund, which is what they typically do. But they say they have it all, so we'll see what happens. And I will be glad to actually get those items. It's always disappointing when this happens. I know they're trying to improve upon this, and I thought they had because for two months things were uh, they had done well in January and February, and then back to March the same way with this bag. And it really concerns me. And I had written this, and what I I wrote to them is like, how are you going to handle bringing Boxy Charm over here if you can't even handle? what you had with the plus. And so I just, it was something I just had to vent and I did. But anyway, um, overall, I mean, this was some great products. Now I think one of the things that I'm noticing or noticed here is um, the three choice items were sort of a low, all lower priced items. And I don't know, I was not really pleased with that. It's like, if you're going to, there, it, it looks like they're going to be guaranteeing the the one the first two that they choose are going to be a little bit better, and you can get the boost, which I think is probably a good thing to to continue to get to for fifteen dollars to get a you know fifty four dollar palette, and I have been pleased with every one of the boosts. Um, so it looks like, and then this this really really nice one, you're going to have to pay if you wanted to get this one, you're going to have to pay eighteen dollars, and it's very heavy too. And Pat McGrath, well, you know what? I was gonna pay for that because I would rather do this for $18 than go over to Sephora and buy this for $62. So anyway, that's all for this one today. So thank you for stopping by and have a great day.